this function will introduce you to the linked list implementation of the stack. I will also show you the first function which that will add elements to the stack, which is the push function. And this would be different from the push function we covered in the array implementation of the stack. In this video, I will cover the linked list implementation of the stack data structure. And this is the second playlist for the stack covering the second implementation of the stack. I will also leave a link in the video description to the array implementation of the stack if you haven't watched it yet. And for this video, I will discuss the push function, discussing how it works, and I will also use some animation and examples to help in understanding the stack. And we will do a project setup for our linked list implementation of the stack project. I'm also working on the next video about the pop and easy empty functions for the linked list implementation of the stack. So I strongly suggest that you click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you won't miss it or any programming videos I will upload. And also click the subscribe button if you haven't already because learning how to program is a process of continuous learning and I cover a lot of programming concepts in this channel. The goal of this video is to introduce you to the linked list implementation of the stack data structure. And I'll also start with the code for this project and create the first function, which will be the push function that pushes elements or items into the stack. Now in this stack implementation, we'll be using the linked list data structure to create the stack. And the linked list uses dynamic memory allocation. So we don't need to know the size of the stack before we compile the code and we can add more elements or items dynamically as you will see in a moment. Now, since we'll be using the linked list, I think we should have a quick revision of the linked list data structure. And I have a playlist covering the linked list in detail, so you can watch it if you haven't. And I'll also and I'll leave a link in the video description below. Now, starting with the node, you can use a class or a struct to create a node, but I will use a struct and the node can hold the information or the data we want to store. And the node can also point to the next node. And we use these to create a linked list by connecting them. So let's see how we create a stack using linked lists. The first thing we want to do is to create a function that will create instances of a node or element or item we want to store. And this function should return the pointer to that newly created node or item. So this function has a node pointer return type and it only takes in an integer data we want to store. Then we create a linked list stack pointer n and set it equal to the pointer that will be returned to by the new keyword as it allocates memory and returns a pointer to that newly created memory or item. And since we have a pointer to the newly created item, we can set its data variable to the data we passed into the function. And also set the next pointer of the item to null and finally return the pointer n. And since we have a way of creating items for our linked list stack, we can move on to create the stack by pushing these elements into the linked list stack. And let's see how we can do that. We will first create a push function which will take in an integer data we want to store. And this function will only call another function which we will call push1 and will pass in the, the data we want to store and the top variable into this function. And this function will actually do the actual pushing of items into the stack. So let's see how the push1 function works. This is also a void function and it takes in integer data and the linked list stack point as arguments. So the first thing we need to check is if the stack is empty or not. So if top is equal to null, and if that's the case, like in our example, we want to store the first item or element, which is the number two. Then in the if statement, we set the top pointer to point to the newly created item. And that's it, we've added the first item to the stack. Let's look at what happens when we add another item to the stack. We will add the item 4 and in the push on function since top is no longer pointing to null we will go into the else statement and inside the else statement we start by creating a temp linked list stack pointer and set it equal to or to point it to the newly created item now the temp pointer is pointing at the new item and we will access the next pointer of the new item and point it at the top item inside the stack and then point the top pointer to point to the temp 
pointer which is pointing to the new item now let's push the item 6 into the stack we are still in the else statement so we will point a temp pointer to the newly created item and then point its next pointer to point to the top item inside the stack which is the item 4 and in this case which is the item 4 in this case and then point the top pointer to point at the temp point which is pointing at the new item 6 okay let's do one more example let's push the item 8 into the stack so we're still inside the else statement in the push function and we point the temp pointer to the newly created node and we point its next pointer to point at the top item which is 6 and we point the top pointer at the temp which is pointing at the item 8 and that's it now let's quickly move on to the project files and add the push function and run the program so the, for this function we want to create a link list stack.ccp file and the main.ccp file now keep in mind that this is a, a link list implementation of the stack data structure so uh, i just need to do a project setup for this and that this is how I just prefer to do things. Okay. Now we do our usual imports, importing ice stream. I mean, include. We need to <laughs> include ice stream and include the C standard library using namespace std i've been doing a lot of python programming lately so forgive me for that one and then so this would be an implementation of the stack using link lists and then i want to create link list stack class so we'll type in class Increase some space so we'll type in class and then it's a linked list class and it's a linked list class and then I want an integer variable and then I want a pointer next point which will be the pointer pointing to the next node and then I want to create a constructor for this class And for this constructor function, I want to initialize a few things. First, I want to I want to create a pointer called top, and initialize it to null. And then I will want to create a second pointer, which we'll call the temp pointer, and initialize it to null. So we'll need these pointers in a moment. Then, so we need to define two functions the first function we need to define is the function that will create the items or nodes we want to add to the stack and so this function will create these items and return the pointers to those items so we can link them to other nodes just like we do in the in the linked list point to the newly created node or element okay so it has a node a pointer return type so we'll call it new stack takes in data which would be the data we want to store and all of this should be in the public section of the class let me just get everything and then tap it over Okay. Now we need to create the second function because the function creates nodes, nodes or items. So this function will actually push these items into the stack. So this function will be responsible for adding items to the stack. It's a void function. We'll call it push and it only takes in the data we want to store. And then I actually want to create another function because I want to pass in 
pointer pointing to the node at the top and we'll actually create a second function for this push function okay let's create let's let's move on to create now to point of pointing to null and the temp pointer pointing to null. Now we need to use these pointers to go through the stack. So the first function, which is the new stack function that creates new items, which will add to the stack. It has a pointer return type from this class. It's called new stack. It takes an in integer data. For this, we want to create another pointer which will hold the returned value from the new keyword, which is just a pointer to that newly created stack or item. And then we want to set its data attribute to the data we want to store and set the next pointer to null. Every time a node is created, uh, an item is created. In order to return the pointer to that item or element. Now for the second function, which is the push function, it's a void function from the link list class takes in integer data. Now what do you want to do for this function? And actually I forgot to put this. It takes in, also takes in a point. Okay. Mm. I'm going to call the push one function, passing in the data I want to store in the ver in the point at top. So let's define the second function push one, it takes an in integer data and a pointer. Okay. So if top is not null, which means that it's, if top is null, which means that the stack is empty, we want to point the top pointer to point at the newly created stack, at the newly created item. But if the stack is not empty, there are a few things we want to do. First, I want to point, I want the term pointer to point it at the newly created node or item, passing in the data you want to store. And then, uh, what do we want to do? After we've created, after we've, after we have the term pointer pointing to the communicated stack, I want to point its next to point to top. And then I want to point top to the to that new to that newly added node. Now in the main .cp class, I will import, I will include our stream and the system the library. And also we need the link list stack to ccp file because that's where our class is okay now we'll use the namespace std inside in our main function we'll return zero so let's compile our code to check if for any errors ah, but i think i don't think we have yeah but we'll just Okay, main .ccp. So this is taking a second. So we don't have any errors and we won't get any output because we haven't added anything to the stack. Now that we have covered the introduction to the linked list implementation of the stack and coded the push function, we can move on to the pop and is empty functions 
for the leak list implementation of the stack. In the next video, you can go and check it out as it will complete the stack playlist. Now please take 10 seconds to click the subscribe button and the bell next to it if you haven't already because that helps me to grow this channel and you won't miss any videos I upload that may help or entertain you in the near future. And you can support me by checking out my Patreon page. I'll leave the link in the video description below. And thank you for staying with me until now and welcome to Eco Fundamentals.